So we all remember the fact that Lil TJ got shot like seven times last month or a few weeks ago and almost was left paralyzed, was almost killed, almost paralyzed, and he's recovered, right? The first thing Lil TJ does when he gets out of recovery or when he's finally awake and able to communicate and speak to the people is this dead ops in a new song. You can't make this shit up. Like, yo, what is wrong with Lil TJ? What is wrong with Lil T What is wrong with this new generation of rappers, bro? Genuinely, what is wrong? Lil TJ is a very blessed man. He gets shot, I believe, seven times. He survives. The doctor said he was centimeters away from being paralyzed by the gunshots. They also said that he was minutes away if he had not been helped by medical attention. In the right span of time, he would have been dead or paralyzed. And yet, we're sitting here seeing Lil TJ making a song right after getting shot, dissing dead ops. One would assume that after being hit seven times by gunfire, maybe, just maybe, Lil TJ would be planning his escape to Yukon, Canada to get away from niggas for like, I don't know, like six months, seven months to re-strategize and, and figure out what he's going to do. That's what I would do. Get the fuck away from the ops. Not even speak of the ops. Don't mention the ops. Don't even think of the ops. Get that out of mind and get somewhere far away where you can record music in peace and live to fight another day. And by fight, I mean experience life, grow in the rap game, do what you're supposed to do with your music career, not going to war with the ops. But instead, Lil TJ, after waking up from being shot multiple times, decides that the, I guess the fly thing to do, the real thing to do would be to diss the ops. Are people not reading the room, dog? This shit ain't cool no more, bruh. Like, this shit is ridiculous. You survived seven shots. You survived paralyzation. You survived, you, you survived damn near certain death, right? We've seen other people be shot less times than Lil TJ and die. Look at Vaughn. He's gone. Uh, Dolph, gone. X, gone. We've seen dudes get hit less times than this man Lil TJ and not make it. Lil TJ doesn't seem to value the position that he's currently in. And you can see it because Lil TJ is dissing the ops as soon as he is able to talk and communicate with folk. Like, yeah, I'm here. I've recovered. I've got things to say. And you record a song talking crazy about the ops. Now, let me tell y'all what this man said. Let me tell you what he said. In a song, he said, seen bullets hit a op. Before he died, his face said, why me? How the fuck I'm living? All these niggas want to fry me. One day they'll stop overlooking my gift, that's Wallahi. Millie's in my bank account, but still ain't nothing jolly. These niggas back and forth trying to pop up like a, like a Ollie. You heard they killed who? Drugs taken, sound like Molly. Can someone tell the vlogs, get off my D. Never had to doubt if I'm gonna make it, no, or no, probably. Cause I ain't dummy, Ra, U-E, or Woo Lottie. Now, that name Ra is mad familiar. And Ra is one of K-Flock's ops who was shot in the back of a taxi. He was like 14 or 16 years old, not even a fucking adult, a minor, gets shot in the back of a taxi. Taxi cab driver somehow like walks away completely alive. I guess the guys who ran up on him had some better aim than usual, and they killed him, unfortunately. Lil TJ is mentioning Ra in the song. Does T Lil TJ need to be reminded, you could have been Ra. You could have lost your life ahead of time. You could have died early. Why would you even bring that kind of energy towards you? You almost died. You almost died. Like, what are we talking about? Like, why are we even like, what is it? How is this even a conversation? And I, I, I look at the rap genius description of what Lil TJ said. The genius annotation says this. Lil TJ is saying he isn't going out like his dead ops. Dummy was a drilly member. Ra was a member of the 800 YGs, which is K-Flock's ops. He was shot in the back of a taxi. Hey, see, he was shot in the back of a taxi cab at only 16 years old. And Wu Ladi was a YG from Mott Haven who was chased while spinning in the OY territory of Sugar Hill. He was stabbed and beat by the OYs on April 7, 2020. So, Lil TJ is mocking the dead ops after he almost got killed. After he almost gets killed, he wants to mock the dead ops. You can't make this up. You can't make it up. This is something out of a Boondocks episode. You could do everything. Praise God. Donate to charity, lay low, anything. You could do literally anything. Go on vacation, not speak, 
relax for a second, let everyone know that you're alive and you can speak and you're well and just keep it on the low. Instead, you want to hop on the song and start dissing folk. And I think that in his mind, he genuinely believes that hip hop is going to look at that like, damn, this nigga Lil TJ really hard. Like he gets shot seven times. I'm going to use my quando wrong. He gets shot seven times and he he came out dissing the odds. Bro, no one is no one in their right fucking mind is looking at what Lil TJ is doing right now and saying this is it. This ain't it. This is crazy. This is stupid. This is the opposite of what you want to do after getting popped seven times. I get popped seven times and survive, and I survive paralyzation and all of that bullshit. Best believe you ain't going to hear shit from me. I'm going to relax. If y'all hear shit from me, it's going to be a song. No dissing of the dead. It's going to be a popping ass song, a fly song. It's going to be a nice, probably have a little feature in there. And we singing about doing nice things like riding around in a Rolls Royce. Got the, uh, the, the, uh, the Amiri on me. Got the, uh, the Roly on me. Uh, with a bad bitch and a whip, you know, just rapping about life. I would be doing everything but antagonizing people who might want to kill me. Everything but that. I'm not telling Lil TJ that you got to like the ops. You don't got to like the ops. You don't got to enjoy the ops. You don't got to like the fact that they're even breathing oxygen. What I'm saying, though, is after you got hit seven times, it might be strategically sound for you to step back and say, OK, how can I survive this year? How can I survive next year? How can I survive my rap career? That's what you need to be thinking about. That's what you need to be figuring out right now. Not dissing dead ops. You need to be figuring out how you're going to survive. That's what you need to be figuring out. Because Quando Rondo is a prime example of what of what of what you're heading to. Quando Rondo almost gets killed in Georgia. Quando Rondo almost gets killed in LA and his homie gets killed in his stead. In his stead, they were trying to kill Quando. And instead of Quando being killed, in his stead, his friend dies. You can't make like you can't make scenarios like like this up. You can't. And that's what Lil TJ is heading to if he doesn't slow the fuck down. Lil TJ's my age. Lil TJ's like a few months younger than me. I'm 21. Lil TJ is just now starting life. Why throw it all away so early? Why antagonize niggas who want you dead? You're a famous, successful rapper. You already won like 90% of the beef off top of that. Already won 90% of the beef. Don't, don't trick yourself out of your position. Don't let the ops trick you out of your position. They already just tried to take you away from your entire life, much less your position. They just tried to remove you from your body by killing you. Don't let them fuck up your career. You need to be focusing on how to broaden your options. You dissing the dead like this, this right here is why Drake has sponsors like Nike, Sprite, State Farm, all of that. Drake's work with all these companies. All that dissing the dead shit is fucking up the bag. Facts. Facts. You don't gotta like the ops, but play it smart. Why diss the dead in your song? You just got shot multiple times. Capitalize on this opportunity. Take advantage of the situation. You're a famous young rapper. Instead of dissing the dead in your songs, try to do something other than that because you're fucking up possible sponsorships, possible investors. If you become successful enough, long-term enough, you could be working with multiple companies like Drake. Drake has never in his life done a fucking layup on an NBA court. He has a Nike deal. He's a fucking Nike deal. Drake has never once in his life ever led a team to a championship. One time. And this man is a Nike deal. That's the kind of opportunity that awaits a successful artist who keeps his image clean. There is nothing corny, lame, goofy, or bitch made about getting shot multiple times and saying, you know what? I almost lost my life. I almost lost everything. Let me readjust. Let me figure out how to be in it for the long haul. Let me figure out how to stay alive so I can keep feeding people around me. Let me figure out how I can keep living so I can experience all that this world has to offer before it's really my time to go. Instead, you're rushing to get more bullets to fly at you. What the fuck is going on with these rap niggas, dog? What the fuck is going on with these rap niggas, bro? Genuinely, 
Like in the mind of the average rapper, I want to like they, they need to start doing IQ tests for these rappers. Genuinely, like how smart is the average new rapper, bro? How? How smart? This ain't fly. This ain't cool. This it ain't two thousand and fucking like. Like little TJ got to keep in mind, bro. It ain't you not fifty cent, bro. You can't do ignorant the ignorant shit that Fifty was doing, dissing the niggas who tried to kill him and all of that shit. Stop, bro. It's not that ear anymore. This shit is corny now. This gang shit, street shit, dying over stupid shit, getting locked up over dumb shit. That ain't the wave. That ain't the move, bro. Being alive to see another day, moving strategically and intelligently. That right there, that is what people want to see. Long term, this is the better strategy for Lil TJ. What he's doing right now, stupid. It's pointless. Why do that? What's the point? Genuinely, what's the point? I don't understand, dog. Hopefully, Lil TJ will stay the fuck away from trouble because this dude, he deserves the world, bro. He deserves the world. He's put the work in to get to where he is. Lil TJ deserves the world, but when you get shot seven times and the first thing you want to do is diss the ops, you're jeopardizing the position that you've been put in. Don't trick yourself out of your position. Don't do that. For what? You get shot seven times, almost get paralyzed, and this is the first thing you do when you regain consciousness and the, and the ability to speak to the public? This is rap in 2022? Where's the common sense at, bro? Lil TJ deserves the world. Lil TJ deserves to be successful, but these kind of unnecessary risks that these rappers take, this is why Quando Rondo's getting shot at multiple times because he's constantly talking crazy, moving crazy when he knows people are trying to kill him. And little TJ is following in his footsteps. Same thing with Young Dolph. Young Dolph starts talking crazy about niggas who try to kill him. Then they shoot him here. They shoot him there. And ultimately, they kill him. Is that what little TJ wants to be next? Lil TJ needs to stop that. Lil TJ needs to fall back strategize move away from new jersey move away from new york reposition yourself where somewhere niggas can't find you record your music in peace start featuring with these artists and really prioritizing your music bro don't get sucked into this dumb shit don't get tricked out of your position this is the craziest shit i've ever seen nigga get shot seven times and the first thing he do is this the dead ops it's fucking crazy like comment subscribe i'm out